Now, did you know you can record a voiceover straight within Canva? Today, we'll create an Instagram reel in Canva, record a voiceover, and add captions to it all within the app and completely for free. Let me show you how. So we're on the Canva homepage and we need to start with the right dimensions. So I'm going to go to social media here in the middle and you can see Instagram reel in here. Any vertical video format will do. Now, the first step, of course, is to upload your own clips if you're using your own. And usually what happens is that you record them on your phone, right? So instead of going to uploads in here and just dragging your files from desktop, for, of course, after transferring them from your phone, what I prefer to do is to just jump into share, go to see all and then send to phone. And this takes us to this QR code. I'm going to grab a phone and scan this QR code right now. And that's going to take me straight into Canva and opens up this particular design for me. Now, what I can do is to just jump into my camera roll and actually start uploading from here. So it, again, saves me a lot of time and saves me a lot of space on my um, computer, just not to have to deal with all the files. And now you can see these little sliders and they indicate that these files are uploading. Of course, at this stage, we do need to wait for them to finish uploading and and once that's done, we can just go ahead and reload on our desktop. Now, while we wait, by the way, I'm Natalia and I help you create better content and grow on social media. So if you want more content creation tips and Canva tutorials, then subscribe right now. Okay, once we have our files uploaded, all I need to do is to right click and hit reload tab from the top. And that's going to obviously reload for us. And in the video tab, you can see that now I've got all the files that I uploaded from my phone. So it saves a lot of time and just add them to my timeline like this by dragging and dropping that's the first one that's the second one but of course I need to zoom out on the timeline so you can see everything clearly and I have quite a few files I'm just going to drag them to my timeline like this so you can see that I've got all the clips on my timeline now I can close it out and I can start working on it so the thing that I like to do is to actually preview it like this instead of just playing because I have to just keep going back like this and if I just drag this panel like that I can see roughly where my moments are so first I want to show you how to actually trim split and um, choose the moments that you want for your reel now, the way Canva clips work is that if you just drag the sides of this kind of clip boundary, you will be able to shorten it like this. And it shows you the preview of how many seconds you've got as well. And then you see what's happening on the screen as well. So this is quite a useful thing. So let's play it like this to see where I am. I think it's a little bit too uh, long, maybe. So I'm going to trim it like this. And then once the brushes go away, I actually want to just split it in this moment. So what I could do is to right click and go to split page in here, or I could just hit S. Now, the next thing is to just remove that part. So this is how you can easily find it. Now, if you're working towards a specific timeline, so for example, you need just one second for the first clip, you can always trim it from here like that and then go here to the top to trim. And this is how you will be able to preview which part you're grabbing from this whole video, which is super useful. And you also see it kind of being previewed like this. Now, this is going to be my intro and then the rest is the tutorial portion. And at this point, I'm showing different elements in here and I think I landed on this camera. So what I'm going to do in here is to hit S just like this, just to split it. And then I'm going to go ahead to play back here at the top because I want to speed up this part. We definitely don't need seven seconds of me going through uh, the elements tab. So I'm just going to do something like this just so that part in here is sped up. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the clips just so that the reel is concise and everything's nicely balanced. And then we'll move on to the voiceover. Great, all my clips are trimmed and sped up so it forms a cohesive story. But now I want to add some elements on top of the video just because I want to show some keywords for this specific part of the video. So what I need is a piece of text. So I'm just going to grab and drag it on top like this. And I'm going to say cut out for this one because it's one of um, the keywords that I'm using. And I can just choose a color. Let's say this is what I like. I can maybe adjust it ever so slightly um, just like like this and I can change the color of the text maybe to something like that and I can go ahead and duplicate it by holding alt and keep adding 
my keywords. And I will center all three of those and actually add a little bit of the animation. I need them to appear in succession. So I'm going to do this and all of them are going to go on enter like that. So just to preview what it looks like, they will appear like this, of course, with a properly displayed video in the background. So just like that, I've got these in here. Of course, this is an educational reel, so it's pretty self-explanatory and the majority of it is based on the screen recording. However, if you want to finesse your reel, by all means, keep adding different elements from the elements tab. You can use, you know, magic grab or a background remover to create fun stickers in here. But once you're ready, we can move on to create a script for our voiceover. So to do this, we're going to need this little feature that not a lot of people know about, and it's called notes. This is very useful for presentations, but also for reels. And I'll show you how in a moment. I'm just going to paste my script in here because I drafted it before for time's sake. Of course, you can take this time and kind of preview the whole reel and see how it flows and just start talking over to finesse your script as well. But this is how my script looks like and I can just close the notes at this stage and ready to start recording. Now we're ready for the voiceover and there are actually two methods of recording it in Canva. Now the first one is very simple. You just go to uploads and instead of uploading your files, you can go to record yourself from here. This is a very criminally underrated button and you see all the notes in here in the studio. You can also go here to the top to the settings. We're going to disable the camera because we're obviously not recording a camera. It's just a voiceover and from here you can choose your microphone. Um, normally you can just use a default one but I have my uh, road video mic that I like to use for my short video for content just to you know have better audio quality so once you're ready you can just hit record and mind you you're not going to get the preview of the reel so you're just recording straight from your notes and i'm just going to hit record and show you what it looks like we've got the countdown first so we've got three two, one, and we're ready. Okay, now that I'm done recording, I can just hit done in here. And you can see that from here, it's going to say save and exit at the top. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. And now that we're back in the editor, you can see that this thing got added for us. So I would be able to just click on it and obviously kind of move it around the way I like. But I don't need the video in here. So what I need to do is to go to audio here at the top and hit extract audio. That's going to give us another side here at the bottom and we can just completely remove this part, which should hopefully get us back to the original um, clip length that we had at the beginning. Now you can see that I've roughly hit the mark in here. So this is how we can start editing your um, clips to fit the voiceover. And from here, you can just easily adjust the clip. And I would always say, try to get the voiceover right rather than trying to kind of match the pace of the video because obviously you want the clips to work towards your voiceover so that everything kind of flows more smoothly and naturally instead of just trying to record and then think that this is where you need to slow down and things like that. So this is my little tip for you here. I'm gonna play it a little bit just so you can see what what happens. Here's how to cut out an outline in Canvas. Perfect aesthetic Instagram post. And you can see that I already started kind of showing other parts in here. So I want to be able to uh, maybe shorten it from here so you can shorten the audio as well. And of course, move it like this. So I will just trim it ever, ever so slightly. Now, if at any point you feel like you want to remove some gaps from the audio, you will be able to go in here and go and split the audio and maybe remove some bits and bobs. However, I found that working with audio is not really that great in Canva. It's really hard to find these clips, even if you kind of stretch it out like this, you see that this audio clip doesn't stretch so you don't see the moments as precisely. So again, try to get the voiceover right and then try to edit the clips to the voiceover rather than the other way around. There's also the second way of recording a voiceover and it's when you go to share, go to see all and go to present and record. This is a little bit more maybe of a, an elaborate studio if that makes sense. You've got this first part of set up your camera and microphone of course so you can see that from here you just can and choose your microphone. You can 
Again, we don't need the visuals in here. And if I go to start recording, again, we've got the same thing. We've got the countdown. The notes are to the side, but you can see that this first thing never plays. So what I like to do is to kind of go back and you can see that it starts playing. Unfortunately, it will also not go from one slide to the other. So if you really want to rely on that visual and kind of talk and create that voiceover to the clip specifically, what I would do first is to actually download your raw um, clip and then as a whole video file you will be able to re-upload it to Canva and then record it. So let me show you what it looks like. So I'll go to share and download it as an mp4 video with all the clips from here. So I've opened another design just to not mess up our edited reel with the clips. So I'm going to just drag our um, downloaded file as a whole and of course it does have audio you can hear it play and um, I can go ahead and mute it from here and that's not going to bother us anymore and I'm going to set the video as background like this now what I like to do at this stage is to add another page and it will become apparent why I've done it when I show you the recording studio and why I actually prefer to just add a little extra clip. And I'll go to notes and of course in the notes, make sure you're pasting um, your outline as well so that it's visible. Let's now go to share see all, present and record, and we're ready to go to the recording studio. And then you can hit record. And what I like to do at this point is not to worry about the cut down. I will go to pause here at the top and actually go to the other page. And the reason I added this page is because when I jump back in, this restarts playing my whole clip. And this is exactly the method when you want to record the voiceover to the video clips and not to the other one. So I hope you understand the difference between the two methods. The first method, even though we can record in here um, without kind of getting the whole video off of Canva and then re-uploading it, you won't be able to see the preview. Again, for me, it doesn't normally bother me. I usually work with clips towards my voice, but I know some people prefer to do it the other way. So I found a workaround for you. Now, what I'm gonna do is to go back in here. And of course you see that my notes were not added to the first page. At any stage, you can always go in here to edit and paste your notes to the design like this. So you will be able to still see it and you can um, adjust the size of your preview in here as well. So whatever you prefer, you can do it from here. Now I'll go back to the white and then I'm ready to resume and start recording. Here's how to cut out an outline in Canva for that perfect aesthetic Instagram post. Now I'm done, I can hit end recording. And again, it's uploading it to my Canva account. From here, you can download it or go to save and exit, which I'm going to do. Now, if I go to uploads, this recording appears under audio in here. So I'm just gonna remove this extra page because we no longer need it. And I can just click on that recording and it's gonna be added as my voiceover below. Now, of course, I started talking on countdown, you can see that this is kind of longer. So what I can do from here again is to trim. I can see the wave uh, where it roughly begins, but of course you can adjust it from here. And this is how you just drag it to the front. Of course, if at any point you need to kind of zoom in on the timeline to be a little bit more precise, you can do it from here. So let me play it. Here's yeah, I think I'm gonna start a little earlier so I can drag it ever so slightly like this, just to not have any awkward gaps. We're not doing any millennial poses, even though we're not on video, but you know what I mean. So let's jump right into that reel. Perfect. This is what I like. And I think it was pretty consistent in here. Again, you would be able to split the clips at any point. I am showing this por portion in here so it can just split everything at that stage. So I'm just gonna hit S and then remove it. And you can see that just trimmed my audio at the very end as well. So voila, this is the second method and I've got my reel sorted. Now we've got the reel edited. We've got the voiceover recorded. Now, last but not least, we definitely need to add captions. Now, one thing about captions in Canva, I'm very, very happy that we've got this update and it's probably my favorite update of Droptober 2024. However, there's one thing that doesn't really work with the voiceover recording and I'll explain exactly why. Now when you see this edited recording that we had before with the clips separate we have this audio added at the bottom and if you go to text and dynamic 
text and under here you see captions. This is the caption feature. Now from here you can see that it's only suitable for one of the clips just because only the intro reel that I recorded on my camera actually had voice kind of added underneath it. It was just um, noise from my room. However, that's the only one that has the audio. All the other screen recordings don't have the audio. And unfortunately, we cannot generate captions for our extracted audio. So at this point, we would have to go to share and download our video again with the extracted audio kind of added as the audio track. And once you download, you can re-add it to Canva to obviously add the captions. Now, is this ideal? Probably not. However, you know, this is this is the workflow at the moment. And just because it's still available for free, I still think it's a great option if you don't want to rely on other apps that usually are paid and don't allow a certain level of customization. Now, the lucky thing is I actually pre-downloaded it for this one, right? So remember this extracted audio I actually recorded with this one. And now we're going to go to text, go to captions from here. And now we can see that we've got this suitable for um, for our text. So I'm just going to go and hit generate captions like this. And voila, we've got our text in here. You can move it around to whichever spot you want. I usually keep it around here, but just because my camera is recording right in the middle and I don't see these captions in front of me, I will actually just push them up to be able to um, obviously adjust them. So from here, you can go and add any of um, kind of the different fonts from here that you love. You can use your own branded fonts that you want. Um, I like Roboto for mine, so I'll go for this. Anything else works just as it would with the text. You can kind of center it like this. Um, it works the same way. And the effects work as well. So you can do, you know, hollow captions. You can outline your captions. You can lift them. I actually do outline a lot of my captions. You can change the colors in here as well. And of course, as with any transcription, sometimes there will be errors. So for you to be able to change these captions, you can go to captions in here and you can see that this is our display. You can just jump in there and actually, you know, capitalize the words that you want to be capitalized. Uh, you can change the wording in here to what you're, um, you prefer. So this is how you edit your captions. So what I like to keep in my uploads is this little kind of checker that I've prepared for myself just to be able to see that these um, captions don't go below in here because this on Instagram is where your caption is and this is where your panel with the likes and comments and things like that is. So this is our kind of safe zone like that. And to download it, you just go to share. And of course you can download, but what I prefer to do again is to go and send it to my phone just to save myself some time on transferring. So I'll just send to phone, scan it, open it up in Canva and download it from there to post from my phone straight away. Of course, we always need to optimize our posts and reels for the new Instagram grid. So if you want to know how to do it, then watch this video right now. And I've left some free Canva templates for you in the description so you can download them too. Hit the thumbs up if you found this helpful and subscribe for more actionable content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.